Uh, what are you doing? Karate. The movements take years to master. Complete concentration, right? That's right. hi -yah! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Uh, Enjoy the video. Uh, I've been teaching martial arts for nearly 20 years. Right now, I only teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a grappling martial art, a mix of Judo, wrestling, and other forms of grappling. It consists of locks, chokes, sweeps, takedowns, throws, and moving on the ground. It became popular due to cage fighters using it for their ground game. A couple of years ago, my school was nearly brought down when one of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructors left and took most of my students with him. He was a world champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at the time. I did manage to save my school, and I managed to bring in students of my own. One of my students who's been training at my school for many years is now a brown belt, and he teaches his own class on Sunday. It was more of an open class. When I went in one Monday morning to prepare for the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu class, I found the front door open, and my brown belt instructor was dead on the mats. I called the police. The CCT cameras in my school weren't working, and I had been meaning to fix them for a while, but I was so busy rebuilding my business and dealing with personal things outside of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, like the divorce that I was going through at that time, that I just didn't get around to it. I just couldn't believe he was dead. There were some CCT cameras outside the building, but they were deemed unhelpful due to their angles. I gave the police a register of all of my students, and the only ones capable of killing a brown belt in a grappling duel is either myself or the purple belts and brown belts, so the police only took DNA samples from the students in my school who held those belt ranks. It was an emotional roller coaster ride for me, dealing with the deceased brown belt's family, his relatives and his friends. I didn't know what to do or say. I tried opening a sparring class in the name of Calum, the fallen brown belt, but no one came, apart from one guy who was my newest student, and obviously a white belt. Since he was the only one that showed up, I decided to give him a private sparring lesson. As we were rolling on the mat, this white belt started exhibiting moves and skill that I had never taught him. Then he basically had me pinned. And it was at that point that I knew. There was no way this guy was a white belt. It was so easy. And the look on Caleb's face when he knew his life was basically over. It was hilarious when I killed him. It was just me and him on that Sunday. No one else turned up. The white belt confessed to me. He then put me into a triangle choke. And I lost consciousness. When I came to, the phony white belt was nowhere to be found. Oh hey, I know one move you don't know. Oh yeah? What's that? First, you stick your finger in my chest. Oh, like, like this? So first, secure the wrist. Uh-huh, okay. Break the finger, oh. break the wrist, break the oh. elbow, break the jaw, smash the groin, break the nose, break the knee, break the ribs, re-stomp the groin, knee drop the pelvis, kick the head, stomp the head, stomp the back and the neck, re-stomp the groin, and then you exit out. Hi-ya! Oh.